Hi everybody, it's Matt with Big Tree Solutions. Today I wanted to show everybody how a customer would place their order on our software. When a customer gets to our main customer facing page here, they are greeted with a few call to actions. You'll see that there's the home, restaurant, skip certificates, and my account button, as well as the find me food button here. The customers generally either enter their address or zip code and find food or click on restaurants from the restaurants page the customer can filter via this information here or they can click directly on a restaurant that is available we'll proceed by selecting the wing company when we try to place an order from this restaurant you would select on a menu item. The software won't allow us to place an order from this restaurant until it verifies what our address is. So here we'll just go ahead and use the address for the restaurant which is going to for sure be an address that we can deliver to. After we add this address into the system it populates a delivery time and a delivery address for this order and knows the minimum order is twenty dollars. We would proceed as the customer it says select up to two sauces for the one dozen wings bone in or boneless you can select the quantity of items if this is for an office party you might want to specify who the item is for and the special instructions for the item. As we push items into our cart, our cart builds onto our right hand side. It shows the estimated delivery times right now which are based off of a number of different things in the back end of the software and your rewards points that we're ordering that we're receiving which is also based off of the reward systems that are programmed into the software and fully customizable and it's showing that it has not met the minimum order for this restaurant yet which is also again very fully customizable in the back end of the software so let's go ahead and add some more items into our order let's do a combo platter boneless wings ghost pepper sauce and we would like onion rings as the side again we're still not over the minimum yet so we'll have to add just a couple more items we'll do a dozen more wings ghost pepper boneless and let's just do 10 items so we are over the minimum everything's in we can see our tax delivery fee and our fuel surcharge on this order which is just an additional fee that we've added in the back end of our software we'll proceed by clicking checkout and we are brought to a page where we would either log into our account create an account or continue as a guest Continuing as a guest allows the customer to check out without providing an email address or creating an account. This is best for hotel guests or folks that are just coming through town. We'll proceed to the create account. We'll make a quick account to place this order. just putting it in the bare minimum here to create an account verifying our address and now we're asked if we would like to pay with cash or with a card or a check because I have checks set up in this software it does not come standard to set up to accept checks any tips we offer percentages here to help get the driver a larger tip and as you can see that updates on our cart over here if we had a gift card a gift certificate or promotional code we would type that in here any special instructions such as please knock softly the baby is sleeping would go in an area like this and hopefully be typed out a little bit better and more accurate than that We'll go ahead and select cash and we'll submit this order. 
That order will then pop up on our dispatch screen and the dispatchers will handle this order from here. And that'll be a different video. But if you guys have any more questions about how to customize the process of when a customer places an order, then I will be more than happy to answer those questions on Yammer. And real quick, I also wanted to point out I skipped over the fact that after a customer does place their order, they have the uh, ability to s Facebook about it, tweet about it, and also to submit a form to us telling us how their ordering experience was. All right. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us on Yammer, and we do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Thanks a lot, and have a good night.